Good night, good night. Yo, I've been in a certain type of mood, y'all. I'm telling you. But you know, it's funny because I've always been a black and white thinker. I've always been that way. And um, black and white people, people that are black and white thinkers, are the no-nonsense type of people. We're not mean. We're not trying to be rude or anything like that, but just no-nonsense. And um, I have to put myself out there on Front Street because I have to preface this so you can understand what I'm saying. So, the Lord has been really ministering to me and putting this thing on me. It's an assignment, really, to um, encourage black people, people of color, and empower them, spiritually empower them in the divine, especially those that are the true house of Israel. I don't have time to get into all of the details, but especially those that are the true house of Israel, which I have revealed, and others like myself have revealed, that are black people. All right? Obviously, not every black person is Israel. Let me just preface that as well. Okay? So, I've been empowering my people, tearing down and burning down the idol of white Jesus, because that's false. It's a false image. So, anyway, and, um, no, let me just be free and say what I'm going to say. I have a couple of um, white friends, white brothers in the Lord, white brothers and sisters in the Lord. And I realized that over the past few days, couple of weeks, I've had to unfriend a lot of them. And um, the Christian side <laughs> or the nice side feels convicted about it. But it's like my soul, my, my anointing, my true purpose is not convicted because it's like, dude, you got to. You got to divide yourself. You have to separate yourself from the people that are supporting racist and prejudice ideals. Okay? You have to separate yourself because for you to still be friends with them, for you to be still be friends with them, knowing what they support, knowing that they support something that is racist and prejudice, especially against your people. You can't be friends with them. I don't care if, if Christian or no Christian. You cannot be friends with them. You can't. You can't. Because to, to be friends with them shows that you also believe and support regimes that are against your people. Okay? You may not support Trump, but, you, but you're friends with someone who ain't your color who support that guy. And you know that this man is clearly a racist. And let me go on record by saying this message is not for all white people. So please don't take it personal. I'm talking about you folk who know you're racist. Also, you folk who don't know you're racist, but you support somebody who is racist, which also makes you a racist indirectly. So I had a friend of mine who I had to block. No warning or anything. But the reason I did is because he posted on his page a ticket to a Trump rally. Because y'all know Trump is in Dallas right now having a rally. And um, it's a, I had to say, hmm, what is a rally? Well, a rally ain't something negative. A rally is something excited. It's like a party. It's like a charging. It's like, a, let's get ready to do this. It ain't no protest. He posted a picture, a screenshot of his ticket to this event. Okay? And he put in the caption, yes. Now, that thing, whoa. I'm not from the South, but I got to talk like it. It whoa my nerves out. Because I said, wow, I have to unfriend you and block you. It's really nothing personal. It's principle. You're, you support this man. And the man is clearly a racist. What does that say about you? You don't have to open your mouth and say, yeah, I'm a racist. Yeah, I'm prejudiced against black people. But by your actions, by your support of this leader, this so-called leader of this nation, you show that you support his ideals and his ideas. I can't be friends with you. I can't be friends with you. Because that also says that, again, my fellowship with you, my friendship with you, shows that I also support, though indirectly, those same ideals. And I can't do that. That would be hypocritical to me, especially with what I've been preaching. So I had to unfriend him and unblock him. What's the message? If someone is against your people, okay, talking to black folk here, you can't support them. You can't, this, this, it's, it's no way, it's intolerable. 
And the Father Yah is ministering to me right now saying that all you have is your brother. At the end of the day, turn this over. All, all you have is your family. That's all you got is your family at the end of the day. And my family is Israel, the true Israel. My family is true Israel, biblical Israel. That's all you have at the end of the day. You ain't got nobody else. So I can't support somebody who is in support of someone that has those ideals. You understand what I'm saying? I've seen some of these people on here, some of these prophets talking about Trump is God's trumpet and he's the one God chose. Are you dumb? Why would the father support someone and raise someone up, choose someone up who is an oppressor? You're not hearing from God, period. You're not hearing from y'all. That just ain't happening. You're in error. So I had to unfriend him. I had to block him. I said, nah, he got to go. Nothing personal, but principle. You got to go. How you doing, beloved? It's regular. Regular degular. So you got to, he got to go. So I had to unfriend him. So I encourage you to do the same, you know? If you're on this whole tip, encouraging our people, standing up for our people, do the same. You may be convicted about it. You may feel bad. I get three pumps free, right? It's over. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take the whole bottle. Thanks. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. If you're empowering your people, if you're preaching the truth, you cannot support. You cannot. You, you. They're the most foolish. They haven't done enough.